morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about operating system in wireless sensor network operating system in wireless sensor network huge progressive development in micro electric mechanical systems that is mems based sensor technology has given rise to the idea of miniaturized and cheap sensor nodes capable of communicating wirelessly sensing and performing computations a wireless sensor node is composed of a microcontroller transceiver timer memory and analog to digital converter here is a representation of a block diagram sensor nodes are deployed to monitor a multitude of natural and man made phenomena that is habitant monitoring wildlife monitoring patient monitoring industrial process monitoring and control battlefield surveillance traffic control and home automations the main and most critical resources are energy and very limited main memory that often allows storing only a few kilobytes the microcontroller used in a wireless sensor node operates at low frequency compared to traditional contemporary processing units these resource constrained sensors are an impressive example of a system on chip that is soc dense deployment of sensor nodes in the sensing field and distributed processing through multi hop communication among sensor nodes is required to achieve high quality and fault tolerance in wireless sensor networks let us see the analogy for operating system we already know about that in a computer we are having an operating system that operating system gives the instructions for other um, devices to function properly here is another analogy in this figure this figure shows how an operating system acts as an interface between the user the application programs and the computer likewise in a wireless sensor network the sensor nodes are deployed in order to operate the sensor nodes the operating system is needed that we are going to discuss now resources in operating system the operating system acts as a resource manager for complex systems in a typical system these resources include processors memories timers disks mice keyboard network interfaces etc the job of the operating system is to manage the allocation of these resources to users in an orderly and controlled manner application programmers can then invoke different operating system services through system calls and os multiplexes system resources in two ways that is in time and in space time multiplexing involves different programs taking turn in using the resources space multiplexing involves different programs assessing parts of the resource possibly at the same time major concerns in wireless sensor network operating system design includes architecture programming model 
scheduling, memory management and protection, communication protocol support, resource sharing, and support for real time applications. Now we discuss the architecture concern. The organization of an OS constitutes its structure. The architecture of an OS has an impact on the size of the OS kernel as well as on the way it provides service to the application programs. Now, a monolithic architecture in fact does not have any structure. Services provided by an OS are implemented separately and each service provides an interface for other services. A microkernel architecture is another architecture in which minimum functionality is provided inside the kernel. Thus, the kernel size is significantly reduced. Most of the OS functionality is provided via user level service like a file server, a memory server, a time server, etc. A virtual machine architecture has an idea to export virtual machines to user programs which resemble hardware. A virtual machine has all the needed hardware features. The key advantage is its portability and a main disadvantage is typically a poor system performance. Now we discuss the second concern programming model. The programming model supported by an OS has a significant impact on the application development. There are two popular programming models provided by typical wireless sensor network operating systems, namely event driven programming and multi threaded programming. Now we discuss the third concern scheduling. The central processing unit scheduling determines the order in which the tasks are executed on the CPU. In traditional computer systems, the goal of the scheduler is to minimize latency, to maximize throughput and resource utilization and to ensure fairness. Now we discuss the fourth concern memory management and protection. Two commonly used memory management techniques are static memory management and dynamic memory management. Static memory management is simple and it is a useful technique when dealing with scar memory resources. At the same time, it results in inflexible systems because a runtime memory allocation cannot occur. On the other hand, the dynamic memory management yields a more flexible system because memory can be allocated and deallocated at runtime. Process memory protection refers to the protection of one process address space from another. In early sensor network operating systems like TinyOS, there was no memory management available. Initial operating systems of our wireless sensor network assumed that only a single application executes on a sensor mode. Therefore, there is no need for memory protection. In the OS context, communication refers to inter-process communication with the system as well as with other nodes in the network. While a sensor network operates in a distributed environment where sensor nodes communicate with the other nodes in the network, all WSN OS provide an application programming interface that is API that enables application program to communicate. 
in network based communication the voice should provide transport network and mac layer protocol implementations <coughs> the sixth concern is resource sharing the responsibility of an os includes resource allocation and resource sharing which is of immense importance when multiple programs are currently executing the majority of wireless sensor networks os today provide some sort of multi threading requiring a resource sharing mechanism the last concern is support for real time applications a wsn can be used to monitor a mission critical system therefore an os for wireless sensor network should provide implementations of real time scheduling algorithms to meet the deadlines of hard real time tasks os for wsn should provide implementation of communication protocols that support real time media streams thank you very much for listening this lecture if you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends for further updates kindly subscribe my channel thank you